Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Eight hundred two five nine ninety two thirty one. We are taking your phone calls, wide open phones. Anytime I say wide open phones, the callers aren't there. Their phones don't work. They don't talk. When I say first time callers or a specific group, it's perfect callers, awesome callers. And that's why I usually say first time callers, because for whatever reason, when I don't, it's just people sitting there not saying anything. I don't know what that is. But I'm pretty much just going to say you get to call in once a year and we have first-time callers, and that's it. Because most shows sit there and beg for calls. We can get unlimited calls. Great listeners out there. You're wonderful people. Uh, it's, and I know folks don't like to sit on hold, but we're not really making you sit on hold today. We're going right to you. So we're going to go to Michael. We're going to go to Alec. We're going to go to Marcos and Tanner and Anthony. And I'm going to give each person about a minute to make their point, and I'm going to move to the next person. We're taking 50 phone calls this hour, or CJ... It's to give me a uh, horse bite. Let's go ahead and talk to Michael in Texas talking about land grabs. Go ahead. What's up? Hey, brother, go ahead. First thing, I'll buy you lung cleanse, and it's awesome. So everyone that has bad lungs needs to buy it off InfoWars. Quit smoking, and it cleared me up. Awesome. Second thing is, I sent off subject listening to the radio this morning the farmer up in nevada uh not monday but the guy we were talking about last week well he said on air he hates farmers and ranchers kind of blew my mind uh, are you talking about the the county commissioner that said bring body bags no the guy we were talking about last week uh what's his name uh uh he said you like the guy but you don't believe some of the stuff. Uh, what's his name? You're, you're anyway. talking, talking about Sean Hannity or, or, or Glenn Beck? Glenn Beck. There you go. He was on an AM show. He said on air he hates farmers and ranchers. Oh, I don't and, believe that. Or he was being uh, tongue-in-cheek, brother. It's unreal. But another thing, uh, yeah, the Louisiana law wide falls. Can you explain that to me, what's happening? They're just creating NSA-style sub-databases where everything's thrown into it. And the system says that it'll pop up and the computer will say, oh, you're a threat to the state. So it's a new form of discrimination, you know, to say that, oh, you're an enemy of the state. And I mean, just saying a threat to the state is it, when, the, when, when the congressman is on there or the state rep saying this system will identify threats to the state. That's an authoritarian statement. It's like when the Army manual that was in 2010 that got declassified last year said, we're preparing re-education centers for political dissidents. That's a Soviet term. When you say enemy of the state or you say re-education centers, this is literally out of an authoritarian handbook. To say the homeland is like out of a dystopic science fiction movie. So uh, this is the type of bizarre garbage that we're dealing with, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate your call. Any other points, Michael? I'll be in Austin, and I'm going to try to come see you, brother. Well, good, good luck. I appreciate that, because you know what happens? If people actually find our office, they knock, and no one ever comes to the door. I have people come here from Europe. Not going to talk to them, not going to meet you. Hell will freeze over before I talk to anybody that comes to this office. And you know why? I got work to do, and if I ever shake one person's hand, there'll be 50 pilgrims out there every day that want me to hold their baby or hear about their problem. And it's not going to happen. I feel sorry for the seven Alex Joneses that live in Austin. Because they've a lot of them called me begging for help. They got people climb fences, come breaking our houses, you know, harass my wife, thinking you, I live here, I live there. Uh, a couple of the old offices we lived in get, uh, or we're at, have dozens of visitors a day. And uh, let's just put it this way.
you want to waste your time, and I'm, I'm not trying to be mean, I have a mission to do here. It's like I'm flying an airplane. I can't have everybody come up from the back of the plane and sit in my lap. And the headline is, Cliven Bundy responds to New York Times racism report. And that's the name of the video that's also up on YouTube. That's not actually the name, but we're going to change it to that. We're going to change the name to Cliven Bundy responds to New York Times racism report. I had said as the headline, Cliven Bundy responds to New York Times racism remarks. No, no, it's report. So that's up on Infowars.com. If you want to hear what he had to say, the New York Times took him out of context. And he says he didn't mean it as racism to say blacks would blacks be better off under slavery than under this new government system of dependence. And that's a classic thing said by black conservatives, white conservatives, you name it, that it's just a new form of slavery. We call Agenda 21 slavery every day. We call the inner city slavery, plantations, reservations, whatever you want to call them. They want to now demonize a whole land rights movement, a whole states rights movement with the whole race deal. Remember, it's the same New York Times that got caught creating fake photoshops of Russian troops. And the headline has been changed. It is up on Infowars.com. Clive and Bunny responds to New York Times racism report. And you know, I'm realizing right now why I'm so nervous today. And it's because of the Russia situation. Uh, the Russians have said that if there's predominantly Russian ethnic areas of eastern Ukraine, that if the Ukrainian putsch uh, military the occupational government military, it is an overthrow government, uh, Western backed by Soros, if they come in and start attacking Russians that the Russian government will respond, that's now happening. And Putin came out and said he warns of consequences as Ukraine steps up offensive. So that's a big deal. Now we're going to talk to Anthony, and we're going to talk to Alec, we're going to talk to Andrew, we're going to talk to Dean, we're going to talk to Tanner. And we're going to continue with your phone calls. When you hear one person hang up, that's your chance to get on by calling 800-259-9231. And I'm going to see how many calls I can go to, interspersed with some other breaking economic news, things we're going to be covering. 800-259-9231. Uh, I've got to give Governor Rick Perry some credit. He's warning the feds to stay away. It's not a dare, it's a promise from Red River land that the feds now want to grab 90,000 acres of Texas land, including people's private property that have the deed. It's not a dare, it's a promise. Governor Rick Perry warns feds over concerns of new land grab in Texas. The Blaze reports, Perry told Fox News. At issue are thousands of acres of land on the Texas side of the Red River along the border between Texas and Oklahoma. Officials recently have raised concern that the BLM might be looking at claiming 90,000 acres of land part of the public domain. And Rick Perry says, don't try it. Let's go ahead now and talk to Anthony in Florida. Thanks for calling, sir. Hello? Yes, you're on the air. Welcome. Oh, hey, I, I just like to talk about the Russia situation, and I believe that those who run NATO and those who are in the State Department are... A lot of them are nothing but workless and irresponsible buffoons who are who can, who, care, who could care less about you know what happens to anyone else. And if we get in a nuclear war with with, with Russia, it's going to be their fault. Do you think there's any? And I'm just thinking about what you just said. It's so profound. Do you think that there's any? Anything to the claims that maybe there's a backroom deal at the higher levels above government between globalists, that they're going to act like it's a war, uh, but let Russia have half Ukraine, and then uh, the West has the other half, and then they use the crisis to demand a, quote, uh, Marshall Plan as a new banker bailout? Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, all right, good to hear from you, Anthony. Good points. Tanner in Tejas, you're on the air. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, I want to report, uh, I live in Lubbock, Texas, I want to report uh, military helicopters, specifically Chinooks and Blackhawks, flying overhead at night. And uh, I live where, in Lubbock where the old Reese Air Force Base used to be, and I can't put two and two together why they would be flying low at night. I mean, to the point where I can see the uh, helicopter pilots. 
Well, they're probably doing drills at the old base, so they have new areas to train in, which I'm all for. What I'm against is training in the middle of big cities. That's admittedly to acclimate the public for martial law. Uh, as you see in all the movies and both fiction and nonfiction, we're being conditioned uh, to accept all this. I would shoot video of it as night vision. You know, e I mean, even the Illuminator uh, on a cheap camera will pick them up if they're low flying or ambient uh, light will pick them up. And I would just put video of it online. If you see an urban warfare drill or whatever, go out, videotape it, and give your commentary. Or if you don't want to put it on YouTube, mail it to us or email it to us, and we will put it on the InfoWars Nightly News. Send it to showtips at InfoWars.com. So much of what you hear on this radio show every day, so much of what you see on the Nightly News every day is coming from tips from viewers and listeners like you, Tanner. Thanks for the call. Alec in California, you're on the air. Hi, sir. First time caller, long time listener. Uh, first of all, I wanted to, uh, are you there? Yes, sir. 